Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, named one of the top podcasts in the marketing research industry by Quester President Tim Hoskins. It's made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform patreon.com forward slash RBDR. I'm Bob Letterer for 25 years, the respected voice in market research. While we were away last week taking some time off, Salesforce.com, which helps managers track their sales process, announced that it is acquiring Tableau Software, a business which turns raw data into easily understandable dashboards and charts. Tableau Software also provides customers with visualization of data from more sources and provides a more complete picture of customers that those companies hope to reach. Now, the price was headlined at $15.7 billion. However, a Forbes contributor, a longtime Wall Street fixture who we'll mention later, analyzed the situation and came up with several different price eval- evaluations. Tableau registered over $1.5 billion in total 2018 revenues. That encompasses licensing plus maintenance and service revenues. And why is that noted here? Because Salesforce.com has been, quote, chasing new markets to reach annual revenue goals of as much as $28 billion by fiscal 2023. That coming from Bloomberg News in its analysis of this deal. Salesforce.com has acquired more than 60 companies in 20 years towards that goal. And many of its clients already are avid Tableau users. But what makes Tableau software special in this situation was explained by Forrester Research VP and Principal Analyst Liz Herbert, who told CIO Senior Editor Peter Sayre, quote, A lot of Salesforce clients I work with are looking for a simple, easy-to-use, business-friendly tool to get better insights out of the very complex platform, meaning Salesforce.com. But many times they don't want to go to a partner or a third party like Tableau, because they don't want to introduce a smaller vendor and have additional risk in the mix. That concern will evaporate once Tableau becomes soft, excuse me, Salesforce.com property. Looking deeper into this deal, it's not really clear how much investment that Salesforce.com may make in Tableau where it accommodates sales with other companies other than Salesforce, but that will be an important consideration to follow. For Tableau, the deal apparently relieves the pressure that's been growing on it to align with a bigger technology provider. Finally, let's return to the comment that I mentioned earlier. It came from Jim's, Jim Collins, and it was about Salesforce's acquisition price. He wrote that the $15.7 billion cost could actually turn out to be $14.3 billion, or $15.3 billion, Given the decline in Salesforce.com share price, it might even go down to $13.7 billion. And Collins firmly believes that this deal was sloppily slapped together because Google had taken control of a Tableau competitor, Looker, a week before on June 6th. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. Our videos are produced thanks to the interest and the support of those who watch them Monday through Thursday most weeks. We want to make uh, clear that Patreon supporters have told us that they support us as a show of appreciation for the work that we put behind RBDR and particularly the creativity that we put into it. We've also been told that our videos reward viewers with thoughtful, valuable information. Now, we've got 45 weeks of the videos planned for this year. So you know this is going to be a tremendous chest of valuable information coming your way to sort through. So please visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR where you're free to select whatever comfortable level of patronage works for you. Have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.